in the meantime there uh, is a larger number of models for the needle editor and I have integrated a function to switch between the models. So I start with the first a generic uh, model of this figure and now uh, I can call needle change model. Uh, so I have to select the needle. This is for the case if there are more than one needle in the workspace. Uh, now I get a list of all available models in my repository and I now can select one. For example, uh, I want to use um, this one. This kind is uh, a NURB surface in one direction we have degree 3, a circle, approximation of a circle and in the other direction we have only uh, two uh, ribs, that means uh, these lines are really not lines and it has degree 1. So what uh, can I do now? I can change here the presentation. At the moment if the rib count is set to zero then I see all the uh, ISO lines for all poles and I can switch this value to another one and if I set it to 10 then I get here 10 ribs and I can make it higher 21 or 50. So I can see how the phase is flowing. Okay, now I hide the ribs and I hide the meridians and also I deactivate the poles. Uh, in this moment I can use another visualization, I use mesh and now I have here a mesh, I hide the needle, the poor needle, this is the mesh and the size of the mesh depends on the size of the rib count here, if I go here back to 10 then uh, or I go lower I go back to 2 then I have this one and now I can change the uh, mesh grid density this way. Okay, so I can switch back to another model and the other model, uh, what's interesting is always the banana, this one, and now we see the model of the banana and I can reduce this also back to the default value is 5 oh. and 5 and I go back with the rib count to 0 and in this moment I only see the ribs which are configured in the spreadsheet.